Game All right, guys, and welcome back to Georgia Tech versus University of Washington. We are in the 2v2. Spawning here in the top right position is going to be the 2v2 team of Washington. It is Huang Po and Vapor. And I like Huang Po's tag there, based God Huang Po playing for us. Spawning here in the top left position, playing for Georgia Tech with their cute tags is going to be Rain, the Blue Zerg player and his teammate Remix, the Purple Terran player. So we do have the 2v2 here, and you know, Matt, honestly, University of Washington is in a must-win situation, and I can't believe I'm saying that. Yes, they are. University of Washington down two games to nothing so far in this series. Uh, that is the first time you can say about uh, say that about them all season, I think. I think this is the first time they're down two games to nothing. And uh, they're really trying to get back in it. They have a Protoss Zerg team up against a Zerg Terran representing G Georgia Tech. And uh, they're getting their first scouting information now. Uh, this 2v2 game, they're actually spawning very close on this map. Yeah. I, I'm surprised these uh, spawn locations are actually allowed. <laughs> this is like <laughs> Steps of War close, man. This is so, so close. Uh, and not only is it close by ground, which of course it is, but look at how close you are by air as well. I mean, just there's no, almost no distance whatsoever. Um, so any kind of rush here, any variation, quick tech or quick ground rushes are going to be very, very viable. Um, and there's almost no doubt in my mind that we're going to see something like it. Yeah, Georgia Tech already has down two barracks, so he's looking to uh, get aggressive. Uh, maybe get some Reapers out early game. This would be a fantastic. The rush distance for Reapers is, uh, you know, almost nothing. It's, you know, it is steps of war, more or less. Uh, you know, they jump down that cliff, they go across that third base that's uh, right between the two, and up another cliff, and they're there at the mineral line uh, doing yeah. damage. Uh, but it looks like Remix has actually chosen to get a Marine. Uh, so maybe some Reapers later, but he has not thrown down any refineries. Yeah, no gas for him. Just going straight for Marines here. And the thing is that this ramp even at the main entrance is so wide. We do see the Washington team sort of walling it off here. But a bunker coming down for Remix uh, right at that wall. The drone now of Huang Po picking away at that SCV. But trying to get a bunker up over here. But that SCV will get taken out. So Remix's little bunker attempt going to get shut down here. So a little win to start things off for University of Washington. Yep, and they're going to get a Zealot out really quick and just clean that bunker up. And it shouldn't be a problem. It looks like there's a couple more SCVs, Marines, and Zerglings on the way. So uh, they're going to have to have some defenses. Uh, Hong Po is getting out his first Zerglings now. He's got four out on the map. Uh, but it's going to be a tough hold here. And I think Vapor may even want to uh, Chrono Boost that uh, gateway. Yeah, definitely wants to Chrono Boost that gateway. Two Marines now picking away at that Bumblebee Zealot, and it looks like the Zerglings are starting to close in over here. The Marines are just going to do great against both that Zealot and the um, Zerglings, of course, and with his teammates, Zerglings kind of tanking all that damage for now, this rush is actually proving to be a lot more of an issue than it looked like initially. I mean, they scouted the two racks, and they're still having a lot of trouble dealing with it. Here come the drones from Huang Po. I mean, this is such a dire situation right now. Marines just doing so much damage. This bunker, if it gets up, is going to be a bit of a nuisance here. Not a game ender, but definitely a nuisance. And that bunker just finishes. So, man, uh, University of Washington's in a rough spot. Yeah, forget the Reapers. Those Marines uh, micro perfectly there by Remix. And now that they're in the bunker, uh, this is going to be a huge thorn in the side of... Uh, our friends at University of Washington, and it's going to be very hard for them to salvage, to salvage the game at this point. Yeah, one gateway is going to go down. Vapor very smartly, though, you know, making gateways proactively, knowing that at least one of his would get taken out. Warp Gate is just going to finish barely before, um, so he's going to be able to morph him into gateways, but the problem is no stalkers. Those are going to be just zealots coming out of those gateways, and that's pretty annoying right now. Uh, so. Georgia Tech, man, they are putting on the heat, and I don't really know if they're going to be able to get out of this. Yeah, and behind this Georgia Tech, uh, they're actually expanding. Uh, Rain is uh, throwing down his hatchery, and, uh, well, actually, both hook players have expanded, both Zerg players, so uh, uh, they're really, you know, they've spoken uh, a bit too much, uh, you know, on their expansion, on their macro level. Uh, with all this micro going on, they really need to focus on, uh, you know, oh, ending man. the game. 
Vapor <laughs> is just in so much trouble right now. No cybernetic score. He's supply block. I mean, and look at the creep of his teammate. It's actually restricting his ability to kind of build just a little bit. He doesn't really have the pylons anyway, but here come the Zealots actually to take up this bunker finally, so he's going to clean that up. The Mothership Core will be useful, but he actually uses it for a Time Warp. I did not expect that. Um, so he is going to be able to use that Time Warp, but I feel like he should have saved that for a Photon Overcharge there. Uh, a nice warping attempt to sort of cut off these Zerglings, but it uh, didn't really end up working out, and it looks like they have kind of held this off for now. Yeah, the Zerglings are going to scoot out of there, and uh, finally the game's settling a little bit. The Zerglings, actually, they just keep running around, and, uh, you know, uh, Washington is more than happy to chase them. Uh, they really want to, you know, they're moving back across the map right now, uh, trying to get a bit of revenge, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, get back for those early game losses. They lost a Gateway and a Cybercore, and, you know, they're really hungry for blood right now. Look at Vapor sorta of has a Ford pylon in the middle of the map, but I mean, I feel like that's even further away than if he was just to warp them in in his base directly and walk them all the way across the map. Uh, but trying yep. to be, you know, kind of cheeky about it. Either way, they are attacking the natural now, and it looks like Rain's hatchery may go down here. A lot of Zerglings from Bongpo. Um, gonna be doing a good job here. The Baneling Nest of uh, Rain did finish up, so he should have some Banelings uh, finished up pretty soon here. And it looks like this will get pushed back a time warp to sort of cover his tail on the way back home. But honestly, I feel like maybe a recall would have been a better choice there. Either way, um, they are trying to sort of fend this off. He does barely save that mothership core. And uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of tough to call, but I feel like Georgia Tech's still in a great spot right now. Yeah, as far as units lost go right now, Georgia Tech has a huge advantage. They're up about 1,000 resources in units lost. Uh, so they're doing fantastic, and unfortunately, uh, more Zerglings getting thrown away from Hongpo, and, uh, you know, Remix just keeps moving in here with these Marines. He has that fantastic Marine Micro, and he's not afraid to use it, and when these Banelings morph in, uh, I'm really not sure if uh, Uni University of Washington will be able to hold it. Yeah, this may be it right now. I mean, the Banelings are just going to be so hard to deal with. The Mothership Core trying to DPS it down, but the Mothership Core goes down. It didn't even have energy for a Photon Overcharge anyway. Uh, and here come the Banelings. They're going straight for that mineral line. And the Drones are attempting to split, but it looks like it's not going to be good enough. Drones are going down pretty quickly here. Remix now coming in with more reinforcements. Um, and, you know, even though they're kind of staying alive here, the Drone Count now down to 8. Or oh no! Which is not ideal. Yeah, at this point, in terms of total workers, our University of Washington Washington team is at 29, and uh, their opponents, Georgia Tech, at 38. So uh, a lead of about 10 workers for Georgia Tech right now, yeah, and I mean, uh, right they're though. just maintaining pressure. They're not letting up. Uh, yeah, the Rain at Marine. 13 <laughs> Go ahead. Drones I was just gonna say, Rain's only at 13 runs himself, so it's still a very low econ game on both sides. Yeah, they've been really keeping the pressure on this whole game, and, uh, you know, this Marine Micro is fantastic. These Zealots are getting, you know, Micro back, uh, and uh, I think they're going to, you know, close things up here. It's, this it's might be it. This might be it. Washington may get 3-0 here. The Marines are still pouring in. Some Zerglings coming in as well, and the final gateway units of Vapor comes out, and that is it. The GGs come down, and University of Washington just got 3 0 Unbelievable. Such a champion team throughout the tournament. University of Washington, they've made some huge moves, uh, pulled off some big wins. Uh, but now they're at the semifinals of Qualifier 2, and they got 3 0 by Georgia Tech. So uh, when we get into the you know end of the spring tournament uh, with those eight teams, uh, we're, you're really going to have to look out for Georgia Tech. Uh, they're going to make some big news, I think. I mean, I, I really just don't know what to say, except that is just a testament to how intense the competition is, you know, becoming in the CSL. I mean, last season was just so intense uh, with, of course, you know, Berkeley taking that in the finals, but it was a very hard fought finals overall, very hard fought season. And now here we are in the qualifiers and University of Washington just got slapped down 3-0. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, I got to give a shout out to our sponsors, MSI, NCIX, and uh, our friends over at Raid Call. Uh, please, if you haven't jumped into Raid Call yet, please jump in the chat. You know, download the client. It doesn't take very long. Uh, I'm sure you'll find a link in the Twitch chat to install Raid Call. 
at the end of the match, we're actually going to be giving out uh, a uh, Amazon gift card if we have enough people in raid call. So jump in on that. Uh, you might win an Amazon gift card. Uh, raid call really, it's just a great client all around. It has uh, you know really great latency. Uh, very small system footprint. I think last time I checked, it was like using 5% of the memory that Skype did. So uh, definitely great for great performance, not a lot of CPU either. Uh, so definitely just, you know, grab it, jump on, uh, have a chat with us. We're going to have a Q&A after uh, the next match, actually. And, uh, you know, all your questions about the CSL, all our promotions, we're also giving away a laptop uh, with MSI. They're going to be giving, uh, you know, uh, we're actually having a sweepstakes, so what you guys can do is put a video online of you and your own uh, old beaten up laptop, uh, you know, whatever it may be, and uh, give us like a 30 to 60 second video, submit that, uh, of just yourself and your laptop and why you think you need a new MSI notebook, uh, gaming notebook, and uh, you may be entered to win uh, for a MSI gaming notebook, which we'll be giving away soon. Yeah, so guys, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, it's going to be University of Western Ontario going up against UT Austin. Uh, and of course, they're going to be players like Astoji, Hello Kitty, SCD Corlith, all GMs or former GMs. Uh, we're going to be taking a few minutes, just, you know, get up, stretch, and of course, download Ray Call and get in there, chat with us while we're waiting uh, for the second match to gear up. So stay tuned. <laughs> 